hello you guys we're on the last leg so here we go the ending of a sisterhood is what i'm gonna title this because it is true you know when you just get tired of stuff it's like it's your last straw and this really was the last straw so um i've moved in now when i move in of course like i said we're not roommates so we don't need to be splitting stuff as if roommates but I don't mind helping you on the miscellaneous bills, such as like, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But she said no. All right. So I gave her the half of my portion that we agreed upon. Um, So I'm in there. Um, I have my queen or full-size blow up bed in the living room. I mean, she has a one-bedroom. So as one of the moment I get in there, I'm like, Lord, it's a hot mess in there. Like, you know, I'm not trying to come in and tell nobody what to do, but... It is what it is to stay home. I just knew to make a mental note. Girl, make sure you got your wipes when you sit down on the toilet. Make sure you, just anything. Bleach everything down when you get in. And make sure you, of course, I couldn't buy myself. It's a no-brainer because it's like, it was disgusting when I got there. So, this how you live. I'm not, you grown. So, the only thing I mentioned to her as time went by was like, hey, you know, I want to order groceries. But I don't want to have to keep ordering now. Because of the fact that, you know, you have gnats and ants infestation inside of your freaking freezer and fridge. And like I said, I got all my receipts because I don't play them type of games. Okay? I got photos if need be because I ain't lying. But I'm not going to embarrass nobody like that. But I'm going to tell my truth. So watch what you say <laughs> and mean what you say. So, Yeah. Um, I just mentioned it to her and she just like started blowing up like I don't give a F. I don't give a F. Um uh if you don't like it, oh well you're welcome to go somewhere. And I'm like, hold on, pause, where's this energy coming from? I just asked you, could you be a little cleaner so you can take out your spoiled stuff that's been here for decades and decades, clearly, and your whole pantry that's infested with stuff as well. So I can have space, like that's common sense, bruh. So I even offered to tell her, hey, I know it may be a mental task for you. I don't even mind helping because, like, I didn't want to. But at the same time, look, I got to set my stuff up. I'm not trying to take up everything. Just a little, a little corner. And, um, you know, finally got done after she just kept blowing up, blowing up. And I just kept telling her, you need to watch your language. Mind you, I really couldn't communicate with her through text because she never communicated the whole time I'm there. I'm like... Dang, you don't want to talk, you don't want to chill, you don't want to hang out, you know, nothing. Like, dang, like, what did I do to you? And like I said, January around her birthday is in January. I even offered to do something for her birthday. Um, even if it was something small, like, hey, I'm going to get your toes done or whatever the case may be. But whatever. So time goes by. Um, she ends up, oh, in the bathroom was disgusting. Cat litter. Just, you could tell it's old poop for months. It's just foul. Like, no. So I started cleaning myself and she was like, I did it wrong. And I was like, well, honey, I see you have ant trails coming in your bathroom everywhere because of that. And if my items are going to be in here, I don't want that getting on my items. That's common sense. But fast forward. So one particular night, um, well, not night, but as time went by, she got a notice. And I was like, I'm not going to say it's not my business. I'm going to just sit it right there. But then I rem reminded her. But then she also told me, hey, I'm always kind of be behind because of the way that I was before last year. And also how I don't get paid enough X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, okay, but you aren't even paying a thousand, way less than a thousand in your rent because of me being here. But I don't know. She always says every time her rent comes around, she's only able to pay it at the end of the month. So therefore you know, all the extra late fees going to be taxing on and it's going to be a re recurring cycle. So I'm like, all right, before I move forward with my stuff outside of paying you, I don't mind giving you my checks fully to get what you need done so you don't have to be stressed because I'm tired of you inching and blowing up for no reason and saying stuff that's not true. Um, So you can get yourself back on track. I don't know in this climate, in this economy, who, who going to do that? Oh, okay. So this me being big sis. This me being selfless once again. After she done already threw her little jazz with her words and being disgusting. 
I'm like, I'm pausing getting my car and I'm pausing also getting my apartment because my goal is to be up out of here spring, summer, mainly summer. But all right. Wow, that sound like she by charade. Spring, summer. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, so I'm going to pause this so we can um go on to the next one because I'm really trying to finish this up today. This is a long wait for me.